Hey, what's up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. Especially while you're learning, but anytime you start developing, you can very easily start to sneakily gather a bunch of random node module folders that just clog up space on your machine. Here's a project I did recently, and I haven't touched it since I did the project originally, I don't know, a little bit ago. But I've got this node module folders, and if I were to expand this, you can see all the stuff that's in here. I mean, this is just a ton of stuff on my machine that I don't really need sitting around here. And if I were to delete this, I could just reinstall it if I ever need to, because of this package.json file, that's what it does. It tracks the dependencies that I need to install. Well, if I were to go through my machine and try to find all the places where this occurs, then I would be spending a ton of time every week just trying to clear up old stuff. Luckily, there is a package called mpkill, and that's what I want to show you today. Now there's actually other tooling you can use. For instance, pmpm is one of these where it actually creates kind of global stores of any node dependencies you have. And then it just creates hard links to those throughout all of your projects, which makes things way faster, number one. And number two means you're not having duplicated installs all over your project directories. But that's for another day. If you're interested in that, let me know and I can see about doing a video on it at some point. Uh, but what I wanna show you is this NP kill. Now it's very most basic, you just CD to a directory. So here I've got my coding in public playground area where I build out a lot of projects and some of these never see the light of day and some of these do. But you'll just use the npx command. Now if you're not familiar with npx, it's tooling that comes along with npm. And it's been there since I think 2017 or so. So likely if you have node on your machine, which you would if you have node dependencies, node modules, then you probably have something at least this late. But if you don't have npx, you can uh, go ahead and just download a fresh version of node but you'll type npx npkill just like that. And what it's gonna do is look through this folder, this directory that I'm in, and it's gonna to return to me anything with node modules in it. You'll notice there, it actually gives me the folder size and I can just come down here and kind of comb through this to find what I need. Now at the very top, you see there, it says I have 2.5 gigabytes worth of releasable space that I could just delete and get rid of. Let's come up and find that password generator app. There it is right here. And I'm gonna hit the space bar key. And you'll notice over on the left, it says it's deleting. And now it says it's deleted. And up top, it tells you how much space that you've saved. Now you might be like, well, don't you need that to run your project? And you do. And uh, if you've been using node modules, you probably already know that. And you see here that suddenly it's saying, hey, I can't find all the stuff I need to run to run this app. So all you'd have to do is come in the future and do npm i or npm install and it will reinstall all those node modules. That's how you got them there in the first place. And that's the beauty of the package.json is it just tracks all that for you. And so that you can just delete the node modules whenever you don't need them, reinstall it whenever you do. And that also allows you to easily pass along projects through GitHub and things like that. All right, so that's kind of the bare bone basics. Let me clear this out and I'm gonna show you a couple of other options. So let's come down here and you're gonna see that they give you a bunch of different features that they tell you about. Here are the options, and I just wanna point out a couple of these for you. So number one, if I do mpx mp kill like that and do a pass a GB, it'll actually pass gigabytes for me. So in this case, you see it passes that over here. That's not super helpful, but if you had some massive node modules folder and you wanted to just see which one of those were, then that would be a helpful way to do that. Even better would be to come in here and pass an mpx mp kill and then pass in the S flag with size. Now this will sort everything by size. By default, it sorts it by path. And now you can see which directory is taking up the most space. If I move back over to this folder, you're gonna see number one, that I've actually locally built this before, just probably to test it. I don't even remember why I did that. Um, but this also has a bunch of stuff in here that I don't really need because I can easily just rebuild that with uh, the parcel build command here. And you can actually target things other than your node module folders if you need to. So I'm gonna say mpx np kill and then dash dash target. You can see over here on the right that it's telling you that's how you can do that. Or you could just pass a flag of T as well, that works. And I'm gonna flag all the dist folders. And then I'm also gonna do a lowercase e flag to show if there are any errors related to the search. And then finally, I'm gonna do a capital E flag and type in node modules. And actually this needs to be in quotation marks. So node modules. In other words, I don't wanna target any dist folders inside of node module folders. I only want to target just plain old dist folders. Now I'll press return and it starts to search. And you see here, I've built a bunch of stuff locally. Now it doesn't add up to that much, 0 0.060 gigabytes, but it's helpful to know where I've done that. And now let's arrow down to that password generator and hit spacebar and it deletes it. And if I were to come back over this way, it is gone, it's out of there.
Now they used to have this delete all option where you could just delete everything. I'm guessing just to make sure people didn't accidentally delete a bunch of stuff. They removed that because uh, I think it's currently disabled now, but it's not too bad to just go here and hit spacebar down the list. All right, two more things to point out if I come down here. Uh, one would be that the roadmap here does say that they're working on an option to allow filtering by directories that have not been used in a period of time. So you could time lock it and say, hey, anything I haven't used in the last three months, go ahead and delete that. Currently, that's not part of the tool though. And then finally, it says on Windows machines that some terminals that do not use TTY, like Git Bash and Windows, won't work. So just so you know, I'm not on a Windows, so I can't test that, but I figured I would point that out. All right, if you run this on your local directory where you store a lot of your projects, let me know how many gigabytes you are going to save in the comments. It looks like I did this a few months ago, so I've only got 2.5 gigabytes. I bet there's some 10 or 15ers or maybe even 20ers out there. So let me know in the comments below, but I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Happy coding.